I was the first girl in my neighborhood to wear spandex. And that was quite, you know, a defining moment in my life because it actually was the first time I started styling people. I just remember there was a lot of talk, a lot of catty whispers initially when I came out in my red cat suit. And as I started wearing them and boys started, you know, liking me, liking me, then a lot of the girls were like, where'd you get that from? Will you take me? And I also wore a lot of mini dresses. Like, you know, it's the 80s. So it's that whole like in vogue look. The cat suit was really big. It was the, the first kind of foray into the video girl, the video vixen look. And um, so a lot of people had seen it before on like videos and things like that, or, but they, no one had ever really seen it in real life. My first boyfriend told me something that I was not aware of. He told me he had a really great shape. I was like, really? He's like, yeah, and you should show it off. I was like, oh, okay. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> My confidence, a lot of it stems from the fact that I feel like I was always very loved. I was very loved in my home by my parents, and I was very loved by my community. So I always felt very much like I was an it girl, you know? Um, and so I took that with me into the, the larger world. So even though, you know, when I was a kid, a woman like Cheryl Teagues was like the epitome of beauty. And I could see that she was beautiful, but that had nothing to do with me. I'm never gonna look like Cheryl Teagues. So the fact that she's beautiful doesn't mean that I can't be beautiful too. It's just beautiful in a different way. So I didn't feel like I was less than. The one thing that's always remained consistent for me as far as my style goes is I've always worn really high heels, always. From the time I was like 13 years old, I've worn high heels. That was also a big talk in the community. She's wearing high heels and she's 13. What's going on? 